so again i welcome all of you uh, for this uh, practical practical number 6 from your software laboratory 3 now dear student this practical 6 or assignment number 6 is uh, the title of assignment number 6 is develop website using any cms tool which falls into one of the categories blog social networking news updates wikipedia e-commerce store website must include home page and at least three forms with validations use at least html5 php css or bootstrap javascript web technologies no database support is needed and deploy your website on live web server and access through url so dear student this is the title of your assignment number 6 now what is expected here in assignment number 6 it is expected that you should develop a website using a cms tool now what is cms cms stands for content management system now whatever the contents you will be having you need to manage those particular contents and that you'll be managing the contents with the help of an website so what is the ultimate agenda or ultimate aim for this particular uh, assignment is you should be able to develop a website you should be able to develop a website using cms tool so there are as already discussed in the last practical session there are total three uh, cms tools one is uh, drupal wordpress and joomla so these are the three content management system tools and with the help of uh, these tools you can develop an website so as per the requirement you can develop a blog also as you all are aware with the blog you can develop a social networking website or any news related website or wikipedia or e-commerce store e-commerce store means what uh, like a st a store management system or medical shop management system anything that you can or even you can uh, consider like uh, various content like uh, you, you may include that uh, medical shop management system or you may also include jewelry shop management system or even you can include book store management system likewise uh, various e-commerce stores websites you can develop and design which include home page and at least three forms with validation as far as the forms are concerned what is expected dear student here while developing the form you should ask for the viewers or the users of your website to do the registration so registration becomes one of the important form where a user will enter his details name address phone number email id and all those details at the same time you may uh, design one more form as a feedback form uh so like this way you should be able to develop the forms with validation so in that form validation should be there as far as validation is concerned dear student we have already learned about the validation so how we can apply the validations to the html page yes dear student how we can assign the validation to the html page or how we can give validations to the html page yes you can type in chat box how to give the validations how to give the validations uh for the page which we have designed using html how yes dear student as far as validation is concerned how we can assign the validations type in chat box we have already discussed like by using which web technology we can apply the validations yes absolutely correct akshada uh, by using javascript 
by using javascript we can uh, give the validations to the html page which we have designed uh, maybe it may be a registration page or it may be a feedback page or any other kind of page so we can assign validations with the help of uh, javascript so now dear student as far as your syllabus is concerned uh, wordpress is there in your syllabus fine means you need to uh, use wordpress as one of the content management system tool okay so today we will see how to install wordpress and how to develop a simple website using wordpress what are the ready made features of the uh, what are, whatever the ready made features uh, which are available with the wordpress how to use those particular features so today we will discuss today we will learn how to install the wordpress and how to use the features which are available with the wordpress like themes uh, various uh, options which are available with the uh, wordpress various plugins which are available with the wordpress so how to use all those things in all together to develop the website so let us start uh, let me share the screen with you first of all dear student you need to download yes dear student first of all you need to download the wordpress first of all you need to download the wordpress so how to download the wordpress let me share the screen yes dear student is it visible is it visible so for that particular purpose you need to open the website wordpress.org www.wordpress.org so with this website www.wordpress.org you can download the latest version of wordpress you can download the latest version of wordpress so here uh, you'll be able to download the latest version of wordpress so simply what you need to do you can just google and you mention download wordpress okay so that this first result wordpress.org/download you can download the latest version of wordpress here just by clicking on this particular button blue button download wordpress 5.5.3 you can download this as already i have downloaded the zip file for this uh, wordpress 5.5.3 and you have to extract it okay unzip it so this zip file you need to unzip it so dear student after that what you need to do let me tell you now here if you look or if you pay the attention here i have downloaded the wordpress crc wordpress 5.3 zip file i have extracted this zip file so that this particular folder wordpress folder will get created now you can copy this wordpress folder dear student you can copy this wordpress folder extracted wordpress folder and you need to deploy it go to c drive xamp okay inside the xamp go to htdocs inside the htdocs go to xamp folder and here you need to paste that wordpress folder now dear student you can remember or you can note down from wordpress.org www.wordpress.org/download from that folder uh, from that website you have to download the latest version of wordpress that is zip file first of all you need to extract it you need to unzip it once you unzip that file uh, you will get one folder so you need to copy that folder and you need to deploy that folder inside the uh, xamp so inside the xamp there is a htdocs inside the htdocs there is a xamp and there you can deploy that particular folder that is what wordpress that is what wordpress i hope you are getting dear student up to this all of you got yes dear student 
got it or not so uh, these are these are the first primary steps which you need to follow like you need to download the wordpress you need to extract it unzip it and you need to deploy that into the folder fine after that yes after that dear student what you need to do you need to start the services you need to start the services like uh, uh, open the xamp control panel start the apache service and start the mysql service okay you have to start the apache service you have to start the mysql service okay once you start apache and mysql service then dear student you can go here and you can type localhost that's it okay and after that uh, here localhost slash zam slash type just wordpress w o r d p r e w s and hit on enter button okay dear student i hope you got it like uh, localhost slash zam slash wordpress only that url up to this only you have to type the url but make sure that you have started the apache service and mysql service then enter this url localhost slash zam slash wordpress fine then this is what the version which you want to install on uh, uh, your uh, zam so that is nothing but english version i'll select united states and i'll click on continue button dear student make sure that i have selected english version and i have clicked on continue button now welcome to wordpress before getting started you need some information on the database you need to know the following items before proceeding that means you need to know the database name you need to know the database username you need to know the database password database host and table prefix okay so out of those five options first four options are mandatory that you need to know the database name database username database password and database host so dear student what i'll be doing i'll i'll open new tab and i'll enter here local host and i need to create the database so how to create database here in this zamp there is a tool named as php admin so click on this php admin click on this php admin okay as i have clicked on php admin now dear student what i will be doing i'll i'll click on new database because i need to create new database here you can click on new database fine create database so i'll give database name uh, as wordpress itself w o r d p r e w -S, s database name is also wordpress fine i'll click on create button this is the database name for the uh, wordpress which i am installing in xamp fine so create database wordpress make sure that here wordpress is there or not means database is created but right now no table is there so what i need to do i'll click on this wordpress database and i need to create the table so dear student here i need to create the table as it is mentioned uh, actually no no table name is not required only database name then username password and host these things are required so database we have created there is no need to create the table but dear student what i need to know like wordpress table is create wordpress database is created but what is the user what is the user what is the user of that particular what is the user of what uh that database which i have created and what is the password for that particular purpose i'll go to home button and here is the users option so click on users option here you will be able to find the user is root at the last call, uh, last row you can find the user is root this highlighted portion the host is local host and password is no password there is no password so out of this first four things database name is wordpress username is root password is nothing and database host is nothing but localhost 
so all those things priorly we know we have created the database we know username we know password and we know the host name now let's go let's click on let's go button click on uh, let's go button now see here database name already we have given the same name wordpress okay here here i have given the name w o r d p r e w s so same i'll keep wordpress username now what is the username dear student what is the username what is the username dear student root yes username is the root fine so what i'll do here i'll enter the username root password is null nothing no password database is host table prefix keep as it is this prefix is wp that is short form of wordpress so dear student wordpress is the host name username is root password is nothing host name is localhost and table prefix is wp after that i'll click on submit button after that i'll click on submit button all right swaki you have made it through this part of the installation wordpress can now communicate with your database if you are ready time now to run the installation okay so you'll get this particular message once you enter all correct information now i need to click on the run the installation button because everything is fine i have entered correct database name password is correct username is correct uh, host name is correct now i can run the installation so i'll click on this button run the installation as i have clicked on run the installation button okay so here what it getting you cannot run because wordpress 5.3 requires php version 5.6.20 or higher you are running version 5.6.3 okay fine so that is the error uh, of compatibility compatibility means what uh, i am using php 5.6.3 version i am using php 5.6.3 version and i am installing the wordpress 5.3 it says that to install the wordpress 5.3 the php version should be 5.6.20 it is higher so it requires higher version anyhow uh, my version is also higher fine so let me correct that error let me correct that error so let me find wp admin install dot php so let me go here uh, inside the wordpress wp admin and in that there is a file name of that file is install dot php let me go through install dot php where is that file yes install dot php let me open this file and from that file what is suggested that uh, find dollar php compact okay and i need to replace this i'll i'll find this dollar php compact okay i got it dollar php compact this line and i need to replace this this entire line i'll replace this entire line dollar under uh, dollar php underscore compact i'll delete this and i have to replace this with this line okay i'll copy this i'll go to the same file and here i need to copy this okay fine i'll save this and i'll close this file okay now again i'll move to this or now let me refresh it or let me go back and again let me click on run the installation button now dear student yes it is working successfully now got it dear student you have seen what i did yes it is now installed yes yes dear students have you noticed that what i did there okay okay fine fine
so fine uh, information needed welcome to famous five minute wordpress installation process site title so i'll be giving a website title anjivani college of engineering i'll be giving the website name sanjivani college of engineering i'll enter the username uh, username is uh, say admin password i'll change this password i'll say password is also admin okay yes i'll i'll say confirm use of weak password username is admin password is uh, admin email id i'll enter the email id yogesh.d151 at the rate gmail.com search engine visibility fine i'll not consider it and i'll click on install wordpress button okay dear student i have entered the site name uh, site title website title username password uh, admin and admin is the password admin is the username i'll click on install wordpress button yes dear student i have clicked on install wordpress button now it take some time to install the wordpress for the site title sanjivani college of engineering for the site title sanjivani college of engineering uh no change your password a data breach on site or app expose your password chrome recommends changing your password on local host now okay now wordpress has been installed thank you and enjoy username is admin and password you chosen uh, for the password okay it is installed successfully so uh, you'll be getting here success message and then next you need to click on login button after that you need to click on login button now dear student i need to enter the username and password so what is the username and what is the password for the site what is the username and what is the password yes dear student what is the username and what is the password you can type in chat box now this is what the wordpress is installed successfully now i need to login how i can login for my website yes both are admin fine so what i'll be doing i'll be writing here admin admin then click on login button then click on login button so i have clicked on login button yes it is available with you okay is available so you have login if i want to go to the site already see from wordpress end what they have done so if i want to see what are the ready made facility or what are the ready made features which are available i have just given the name and if i want to see the website so how it is possible for me to see the website okay so uncategorized sanjeevni college of engineering just another wordpress site sample page hello world this is what the site okay copyright at 2020 sanjuni college of engineering like this way you'll be able to see on this same search button is also there everything is available fine so this is what your sample page you can go to sample page also okay this is what the sample page you can change this message also you can edit the page just by clicking on edit page button you can customize your website if i click on customize button if i click on customize button it will take some time so you can customize your website here i want to change the theme so how i can change the theme i'll go to change theme button and i'll select this theme 2017 i'll select this theme right now i am interested in this theme so i'll select this theme 
let me check it is available live preview if i go to its live preview how that particular theme will be look like setting up your live preview this may take a bit so it will take some time so that whatever the uh, theme which you want to apply for your website you can apply that particular theme to the website see here now you can see this is what this is what your current theme which consist of this many uh, pages which consist of this many pages that is available okay so which consist of four pages by default four pages home page about then uh, blog then you can say about contacts so even you can change the content huh, dear student so if you want to change you can click here if you want to change the name you can click here if you want to edit you can click here if i want to activate and publish i'll click on activate and publish button so this particular theme i want to activate i have clicked on here activate and publish button so again it will take some time and it will be uh, activated and it will get published okay so the same site will get published yes now you can see okay so this particular site is being published sanjeevni college of engineering now dear student if i want to edit i can edit it also now see previously now you can see it consists of dashboard themes menus menus are also there you can create you can add your menus you can change uh, the menus also you can view the, your site that is what uh, everything is available with this particular uh, you even you can customize your website also if you want to add any plugins you can add the plugins if you want to add pages you can add the pages also if you want to add media like if you want to add images you can add the images also that is also possible okay so as far as pages are concerned you can go to pages button you can go to pages button and you can add a new page also by clicking on this add new button by clicking on this add new button okay so that you can add the page also so that you can do so first of all dear student what you need to do you have to uh, first of all you have to uh, install means uh, the first step here is nothing but first of all you need to download the wordpress once you download the wordpress then you need to extract it after that you need to install it and whatever the steps which uh, right now i have explained you you first of all go through those particular steps so that you'll be able to Uh, install a wordpress and you'll be able to create your own blog or you'll be able to create your own website and you'll be able to uh, customize it you'll be able to add new pages you'll be able to add media so whatever it may be plugins or appearance so if you go to here appearance so you can uh, change the theme you can customize it you can add the menus you can change the header uh, uh, like you can import export site health export personal data erase personal data that is also possible so that is available so as far as this particular site is concerned uh, you can have uh, you can add the images also even you can write the your html code also whatever the external html code if you want to write you can write that external html code also how to write external html code so if i go to all pages and if i click on add new page so i'll click on pages add new page i'll go to add new page i'll click on here title i'll click on this plus button to add a block so uh, i'll i'll write here registration okay 
I'll click on save draft button. Start writing or type to choose block. So here if you want to add an image, you can add the image also. If you want to add heading, you can add the heading also. If you want to add gallery, that gallery also you can add. So everything is possible. Okay. As far as image is concerned, you can upload the image. You can upload the image if I say like uh, this from the theory of computation, there is one image. If I want to add this particular image, I can add that image. I'll click on save button and if I say publish, so this particular page, registration page will get published. No issue at all. Okay. So registration is live now. Fine. So if you want, if you if I say that I want to view the page. So like this way, you can see Sanjuni College of Engineering registration page is there. And you can see here, this image is there. So accordingly, you can have, you can create n number of uh, pages uh, in your website. If you want to change, you can change it also. If you want to add something here uh, or like if you want to uh, add the list, if you want to add the paragraph, if you want to give any information, if you want to add list, that list also you can add. You, you can also add paragraph, you can also add uh, images, you can also add heading. You can also uh, add gallery, list, quote, audio, cover, files, common blocks, formatting you can do, layout elements, so everything. So that is allowed. Okay. So if I say paragraph, so I can have here. I can, I can type here. Hello. Good afternoon, all. So like this way, I can add this information. I can click on save. I can publish. If I click on view page button, so you can see here that paragraph you can add. So like this way, a dear student, you can add various images as far as the shopping website is concerned. Definitely you need to uh, download various images and you need to upload those various images. Okay. On this particular website. So that particular point of view, this is very, very important. And uh, at the same time, if you want to create registration uh, form, so that registration form also you can create uh, that registration form also you can create. Okay. So that is what uh, uh, all about the WordPress uh, uh, content management tool. Okay. CMS tool. Yes, dear student. So for today, uh, 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 up till now, whatever we have discussed, that is enough. So within next one hour, uh, you need to install uh wordpress and you need to uh, see like how uh, the basic uh, web page or uh, the basic website which i have created so now again there are so many things huh? here you can do so many things customization as far as customization is concerned huh? you can add you can modify you can change the theme you can download the themes also so uh, that is possible so it is up to you like as per your convenience you can design you can develop that particular website is that clear dear student got it or not yes dear student are you there are you there na? okay 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 fine so uh, i hope that uh, you 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 just try to install uh, the latest version of zamp at the same time the latest version of wordpress so definitely you'll be not facing any problem. 
but still if you are facing any problem uh, you can fix uh, the problem with the help of this uh, solution which is mentioned here on this github.com okay so uh, if if the same error we got actually your server is running php version 5.6.3 but the wordpress 5.3.2 requires at least 5.6.20 so uh, with the same point of view uh, uh, we got an error and actually that particular error we have resolved also so dear student accordingly you need to uh, check and uh, you need to resolve that error also okay yes any difficulty dear student any doubt got it or not hello dear student got it all of you okay fine so in the next one hour you need to install uh, the wordpress and accordingly you need to execute it so I'll, I'll i'll stop here thank you all of you thank you very much and uh, tomorrow uh, we will be having a lecture okay at 11 o'clock so in which we will continue uh, our unit number 6 that is computational complexity so that we will discuss meanwhile dear student uh, what you need to do like whatever the uh, assignment up till now we have discussed so you have to you have to so complete those assignment you need to write up write the write up points and accordingly you need to uh, submit it fine at the same time assignments also as far as assignments are concerned uh toc assignment okay those who are remained they need to submit the assignments as early as possible and uh, i think uh, for practicals point of view also first five assignments first five practicals are over so you should complete those first five practicals and upload it on lms got it dear student So I'll stop here. Thank you, all of you. Okay, okay. sir. Okay, thank you.